Hello everybody. It's been about a month or so since I did a video, so uh, those who give a fuck, uh, here's an update. Let's get the tunes going there, eh? For me to get my mind down on paper, right? To outline everything that happened at work and the bullshit fucking reasons why they fired me and all that shit. But the, the letter also served another purpose. Uh, it's, uh, it's for my new lawyer, you know what I mean? He's to know exactly what happened, right? Lawyers learn by reading, not by talking, right? So I need to get everything down on paper. So the letter's finally done. Fuck. It took like a month to do, but I had to be sure that I had the proper information. You know, I was very particular about what was being said because on well, the chances that Craig and Joe don't respond, you know, I want to make sure going into mediation, the facts are there, right? So, yeah, so that's finally everything's come together. Letter, new lawyer, you know, so everything's fucking working out, man, working out. So, yeah, so that's where I'm at for those uh, five or six people out there who give a fuck, but... <laughs> That's what's going on. Now the thing is, you know, I'd say I got maybe a 1% chance that I'll hear anything from Craig or Joe, but I have to be able to say that I tried, you know what I mean? I followed the proper chain of command. You know, I have to give Greg and Craig and Joe the opportunity to respond. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, this way it takes a long, longer time, but I'm not gonna railroad runny, railroad anybody, and it's the right thing to do. So at least when we go into mediation, I'm gonna wait a month. I'll give them a month to respond, and then when we go to mediation, at least I can say, you know what, I did it the right way. You know, so. You know, like, it's a shot in the dark, but at least it's something I can live with. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, yeah, did I, did I say I sent the letter today? Yeah, well, anyways, I sent the letter today, so. Feeling pretty good about that. Fucking eight gates is shit, man. <laughs> oh, what do we want to listen to here? Uh, Oh, little Bee Gees? Yeah, let's do some Bee Gees. Feel good music, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I look forward to doing the videos because I get the smoke. <laughs> Oh, I can't see you. 
God, I can only imagine the shape that place is in now. Oh my God. <laughs> I bet you a few of you are wishing I was still there, right? I'm sure a lot of things by now are starting to come to light, you know? I know you guys don't talk about it amongst yourselves, but... Yeah. You know, there's a part of me, you know, that really hope this doesn't go to mediation, you know? You know, I, I, what I really want in a perfect world, I want a proper severance and I can live with that. I don't have to know what happened, you know what I mean? Because what's going to happen if it goes to mediation, you know, Costco has to uh, supply all the reasons and all the statements and who, the statements that were made towards me and all the fucking falsified bullshit. And I'm going to know everything, you know? So... You know, I understand that Costco, uh, whatever, man. But I just hope it doesn't get to that point because I don't want to know. Because I'll be pissed. <laughs> I'll be pissed. Uh. I am not going away. No way. Not after the time I invested in the company and uh, and the people there, you know. No fucking way. Yeah. You know what? I like the I must admit, though, I am kind of curious, you know, because all the uh, the letter I got from uh, Costco for the reasons they fired me were a bunch of bullshit, third-party crap, you know, like versions of the truth, you know, you could tell it was all slapped together at a moment's notice, you know. I can't wait to see who they say said what and how they, like, their investigation was fucking bullshit. You know, I wish I could elaborate more. You know, there'll be a point in my way I might will, you know what I mean? But, oh man, I wish I could elaborate for you guys. Just bullshit. You know, from what the way it read, it seemed like they didn't even talk to anybody. They just went on by third party information and rumors, you know, the way they put it together. Like, I'd be very surprised if any employee actually signed some kind of bullshit statement, you know? But, you know, I'm going to find out eventually, you know, especially if it goes to mediation, they, either they're going to have to tell me everything, or my lawyer everything, have full disclosure, or you're going to pay my fucking severance, you know, so, be interesting, either way I'm going to win, doesn't matter, it's just how long it's going to take, you know? at work, you know, I heard they brought in some new ROM and he confirmed that the place is a fucking write-off, like I've been saying the whole time, I heard Ricky's uh, wife died, I heard, what else did I hear, oh, I heard Brent finally came clean 
and all about his fucking sorry excuse for a fucking life. What a piece of shit. When he sobers up, man, he's got a lot, a lot to look back on, you know. What fucking ever. <laughs> Oh my god. Mike Beach. 
stuck in quicksand and you're not going out and you're not going in, you know what I mean? Just fucking loafing around, you know? You know, a lot of ideas in the future or not, but, uh, you know, for now it's just... But on a whole, those of you who actually give two fucking shits, I really couldn't be better, you know? I really couldn't. You know? Still struggling with the whole bipolar shit, but, you know, I'm learning every day, so. Yeah, I was supposed to, uh,. I have an appointment with a doctor, a psychiatrist, uh, I think I mentioned it a few videos ago. But she booked me when she was on holiday, so <laughs> we put that off for a bit, you know. So, it's irrelevant, you know, I mean, it's sure I need to get my tax benefit. But, uh, with my new lawyer, we're, uh, we're gonna work it out, so, you know, that's beneficial for both of us, so. Which is really good, so I don't really need that money up front. And you know? also, it's fucking, it was huge, huge for me, you know. You know, because I didn't really, you know, that whole Gomi fun shit, you know what I mean? It was just, you know, it's just, I really didn't want to fucking have to depend on other people to fight this for me, you know. It feels good that I can do it on my own. As much as I would have appreciated the donations and that, but... You know, fuck, you know, I was in a situation, I was just brainstorming, you know, trying to figure out how, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it, you know. But it's all going to work out now. So, yeah, you know, it's just a matter of time, you know. Knock on fucking wood, baby, you know. Good things happen to good people when you play it fucking straight, you know. I've always played it straight. Oh, I'm almost home now, so hopefully this update is, uh, you know, for those people who actually give a shit, my five or six loyal fans. <laughs> So, uh, you know, if you give a shit, you, you know where I'm at now, you know, so. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess I'll sign off and, uh, Probably uh, post another video in a month. And it'll either be good or it'll be time to go to war. <laughs> you know? So, in the meantime, you all take care of each other. All those goddamn commandments enrich your life. And be good to each other. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.